Namaste, friends. This practice is going to concentrate on our core and our arms and our shoulders. I'm in beautiful Sedona on top of a mountain. You don't need any fancy clothes or even a fancy mat to do yoga. Start your breathing and set an intention for your practice today. Let's get it, guys. All the way up. Fold all the way down. Forward fold. We're just kind of hanging out. Halfway lift, flat back. Plant your hands, right leg back, left leg back, high plank, and hold it. You probably have noticed that I love holding planks. The reason is it works your entire body. It's also an excellent way to start your practice because it warms up your whole body and it gets you ready to start flowing through your yoga. Remember to breathe through discomfort and stop if there's pain. Put your knees down, chest and chin to the ground. We're going to raise up into baby cobra and then down. We're breathing in when we raise, breathing out when you lower, and up and down. Our feet are pushing against the ground. Back into child's pose. Take a little rest in child's pose. And we're going to work our way up to hands and knees, your shoulders directly over your wrists, your hips directly over your knees, into cat cow, arching as you breathe in, rounding as you breathe out, and go ahead and repeat at your own pace with your own breath. Cat cow is a great way to warm up your back. And then on your last one, have a neutral back, reach back your right leg and lift up, flexing your foot. And we're gonna go ahead and hold it. You are looking forward and you're activating that leg, reaching it back. And then switch, we're going to do the left leg, reach it back, flex the foot and raise it. And again, activate that leg. and then lower it, and we're going to work our way back into our first down dog. It's always okay to generously bend your knees. You can also bend one knee while reaching the other heel to the earth and back and forth. And then we're gonna go ahead and move again to high plank. You may have to move your feet a little bit back to get the proper alignment and then we're going to go back to down dog and we're going to flow back and forth so then again to high plank and then breathe out to down dog breathe in high plank breathe out down dog and repeat Flowing through high plank to down dog is an excellent way to build strength, but it's also amazing for balancing your breath and getting it into a rhythm that's going to work for you during your practice. And then we're going to hold plank again. Remember to push down into the earth, activate your whole body, your shoulders are away from your ears, and then back to down dog. Hold it. Right leg forward, left leg, halfway lift, forward fold, roll all the way up, down the center, up and around again, fold down with a flat back, forward fold, halfway lift, Plant your hands, left leg back, right leg back, high plank, 
a little difficult with the rocks underneath my hands. And again, we're gonna hold plank. It's amazing for your core, amazing for your arms, amazing for your shoulders, basically your whole body. I am a plank fan. Knees down, chest and chin to the ground, all the way to your belly. We're going to lift up baby cobra again and down, lift up and down, lift up and then we're going to lift the hands off the ground and reach your heart forward and hold it and down all the way back to child's pose. Take a little rest in child's pose. You can reach your arms forward or put them back by your sides. And then up to hands and knees again. And again, cat cow, we arch and then we round, arch, and round at your own pace. And then get to a neutral back and your right leg goes back, flex your foot, raise it up, and then raise the opposite arm. So your left arm, you're reaching your leg back and reaching your arm forward, looking straight ahead, and engaging your whole body. And then down, and then we're gonna switch, and you're gonna bring your left leg back, flex your foot, and then your right arm forward. And again, it's like you're reaching forward with your hand and reaching back with your leg. And then down and back, to down dog, it's always okay to bend your knees. We are going to float into high plank in just a second. And then we're going to touch our right knee to our right elbow with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then we're going to back into down dog, take a little bit of a rest. And then again, we're gonna do it on the other side, left knee to left elbow, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then back to down dog. Hold it. Then we're gonna bring left leg forward, right leg forward, halfway lift, forward fold, roll all the way up and down the center. Up and around, float down with a flat back, forward fold, halfway lift, plant your hands, right leg back, left leg back, high plank, and hold it. We're gonna try to lower ourselves all the way down. You can drop the knees if you need to. And how you do that is you keep your elbows very close to your body. You push your body forward and you lower down all the way to your stomach. Put your hands back with palms up and we're gonna float up with your chest 
and your legs. You're squeezing your ankles together. You're looking forward, leading with your heart. Shoulders are back and down, holding it. You got it. And then back into child's pose. You're eventually going to work your way up back to hands and knees. And we're going to go ahead and do the right leg back with left arm forward. And then we're going to touch the left elbow with the right knee. So get prepared for that. Right leg back, left arm forward, and touch for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then we're going to switch. David climbed up some really big rock and freaking us out. So this time we're going to have our left leg back, right arm forward for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back into down dog. Sometimes during yoga you have distractions like cats or people climbing crazy rocks and you got to stay focused. Next, we're going to flow from down dog into plank, bringing the right knee to the right elbow. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Back to down dog. Rest a little bit and then we'll switch to the other side. You can try to get your knee as high up the arm as possible or your elbow or however high you can get it is great. Let's begin one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Back to down dog and take a rest. And then we're going to bring our right leg forward, left leg forward, flat back, forward fold. And then we're going to hang, grabbing your elbows with the opposite hands. You can bend your knees and we're kind of just hanging, releasing the lower back. And then all the way up, down the center. Adjust yourself, adjust your clothes if you need to. I do sometimes. Hands in prayer all the way up and around, flat back down, forward fold, halfway lift, plant your hands, left leg back, right leg back, high plank, and hold it. Lowering all the way down to your stomach, it's okay to go to your knees. You just wanna make sure your arms are close to your body, specifically your elbows, and lower all the way down to your stomach. Clasp your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, and raise your chest, heart forward, 
pulling your arms back. Hold it. And then down, back to child's pose. Child's pose is always appropriate if you ever feel like you need a rest. And then work your way back to down dog. There were some really humongous ants on this mountain that were crawling on my hands and I'm gently trying to get them to go away. <laughs> Unsuccessfully at times. We're gonna work our way to plank as I try to blow them away. Eventually, we will meet in high plank, and we're gonna take that right knee to the right elbow and hold it. And then back to down dog. Take a little rest. You wanna get the knee as high up the arm as possible that's comfortable for you. We will do the left side. Start and hold it. Back to down dog. Left leg forward, right leg forward, halfway lift, forward fold, all the way up and down the center. Pause, take a breath, and up and around, down, forward fold, halfway, plant your hands, right leg back, left leg back, high plank. While you hold plank, we are going to work on chaturanga. If you cannot do it, that's okay. If you want to drop to your knees, that's also okay. We're going to push your body forward with your toes so your shoulders go past your wrists. You're gonna lower down halfway, hover, and then go back into up dog, and that means your legs do not touch the ground. It's always okay to drop to your knees and to do a low cobra. Just meet at down dog. Always modify to what your body is telling you. We're going to lift the right leg up into three-legged dog. You want to keep your hips squared, so flex your foot and make sure your toes are pointed down. And we're holding it, and then we're going to bring it on through and hold it into the center. and then pull it all the way through in between your hands and go into high lunge. Raise your arms up, your heart is forward, your knee is directly over your ankle, you don't want it to go past. It's okay to have your feet a little bit closer together. And then down, plant your hands, right leg back again, we're gonna do chaturanga, halfway down, and then up to up dog, back to down dog. Readjust your body, lift up your left leg, again, square your hips, flex that foot and point your toes down to the earth. We're holding it, and then we're gonna bring it on through, and we're gonna hover and hold. and then bring it in between your hands and up into high lunge and hold it. Again, your knee is directly over your ankle. It's okay to bend that back knee. And then plant your hands, left leg back Again, we're gonna float to Chaturanga, 
up dog. Always modify if you need with your knees. And then back to down dog. And then take a rest in down dog. Try to continue to breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. Let's work on jumping from down dog to in between your hands. You can do short little hops or jump all the way to your hands, flat back, forward fold, all the way up, down the center. We are almost done. Let's keep going. Stand in mountain pose into chair, arms up or at prayer or in front of you or at your sides, whatever is most comfortable. You want to keep your knees just behind your toes and the weight on your heels so you can actually lift your toes up if needed. And then we're going to go ahead and sit all the way down and we're going to go into boat pose. So you're balancing. You can bend your knees and we're holding it. And then drop down to your elbows behind you and lift your legs up. And we're gonna float the right leg down and back up. We're gonna float the left leg, hover just above the ground and back up. Both legs down, hover, back up. We're gonna cross at the ankles, hover, back up. Switch the cross, down and hover and back up. And then we're gonna do scissors all the way down and then all the way up. And then we're gonna go back into boat pose. Try to straighten your legs this time instead of bending them. If you cannot, just bend them. That's absolutely fine as well. And we're holding it. Your palms are facing up. And then release. Fold your left leg in and then put your right leg just over the knee. And we're going to twist to the right. Your left elbow is gently pressing against your right knee and then you're using your right hand behind you to slowly twist to the right. And then we'll do the left side, or if you accidentally did the left side, just do the other side. And again, gently twist. From here, we're going to go into a seated staff pose. You want to bring both of your legs around in front of you, straight ahead, flex your feet, pull your sits bones away, arms up, and use your two peace fingers to grab your big toes. And you want to pull your chest forward. And if you can even lift those heels off the ground, if you need to have your knees bent, that's okay. It's definitely going to be uncomfortable stretching the backs of your legs, but it's an amazing stretch. And then we will fold over the legs. So try to bring your forehead to your shins. If you can reach your feet, you can slightly pull your body, but it's definitely better to actually use your core muscles to get your body down to your legs. It's always good to breathe into any sort of stretching pose. Amazing, you guys. You put in the work. Go ahead and move onto your back to Shavasana. Never, never skip Shavasana. Always, always, after your practice, lay back, close your eyes, and enjoy all the work that you put in. Stay as long as you need to. Thank you so much for watching this video, for visiting me while I'm in this beautiful place, sharing this beautiful practice. 
choose compassion every single day for animals, for humans, for the environment, and for yourself. With love and compassion for all animals, big and small, namaste. May we all be free and happy and joyful. I love you guys. Bye.